I don't think there's an easy way to say this. Uh, I have a big butt. <laughs> Good morning. It is Tuesday. Let me show you a pooping cat. Hi, pooper. <laughs> There's something so funny about cats in their litter box, how they just like sit there like this. So today is get right to work day. So that's where I'm going with my breakfast. I forgot my coffee. And uh, I posted a video on Facebook last night. It was my 125th day vlogging. And uh, I was like, wow, at time, flew by so fast. I'm still having fun doing it, which is awesome. And uh, let's see, am I halfway there, 365 days? Although today, this year was a leap year, so I don't know. I'm gonna make myself look stupid now, but um, yeah, so all right. So we're doing 365 days, regardless of the fact whether or not it's a leap year. So I've noticed over the course of doing the vlogging that I have begun to care less and less of what other people think of me, which is wonderfully liberating. Um, I, I would have to say before starting doing this, maybe even like, you know, I started to ease off caring so much about what other people think as I got older and older, but this definitely propelled me forward a little bit, um, which is really nice. Like I said, it's very liberating not to care all the time. <laughs> I'd say I still definitely care. I don't feel like you, I don't know, do you ever really lose that ability? I mean, I'm sure there's some people, like you might not care what this person thinks, but you care what that person thinks. I don't know. We'll see. I guess I'll find out. Um, anybody out there that doesn't care at all what anybody anywhere thinks? I mean, I don't know, like even your parents? I don't um, So that's been nice to... Uh, it's kind of like been a nice gift from from doing the vlogging. So yeah, I've got a phone call at 11 So it's uh, it's time to get to work. What you doing in there? What you doing? Come in do something to entertain us Instead of just sitting there like a doofus. Oh Okay jumping so, I don't think there's an easy way to say this. Uh, I have a big butt. Ever since I hit puberty and got hips, my butt was just like <clears throat> And a lot of times, if I walk by a mirror, as I walk by, I glance over, I see my butt, and in my head, I'm like, dang. Usually when I lay out, when I'm on my, uh, I, I'm on my stomach, I love to like look, I wonder if it will focus. I love to look in the grass and see like what's going on in there. It's like a whole another world. Nothing really interesting going on from this view. Uh, but a lot of times there's like tiny, tiny little bugs and uh, little mini spiders spiders and just like stuff going on that we like never even think about. It's just, it's fun. It's fun to like look in and it's like a little world in there. It reminds me of, um, what's that movie? Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's such a cute movie. I wonder if that's on Netflix. Uh, the, if you've never seen it before, um, Rick Moranis. Oh my God. Um, he shrinks his kids by accident and I think they get taken out like in the garbage or something like all the way to the street and they have to make it back through their lawn and it's like everything at that size when you're super tiny is like I think we're like one scene like he's the, he starts mowing the lawn and it's like they could die uh oh I know too the the sprinkler system turns on and like the the drops of water are like massive and can just like wipe you out. So I think maybe that's why I'm drawn to like looking in the grass because it reminds me of Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Like maybe that's why. That's kind of funny. I don't know if that's why, but it just made me think of that movie at the moment telling you about it. If you loved that movie, Honey I Shrunk the Kids, let me know in the comments below one of your favorite scenes from that movie. I think my favorite scene 
was, I think I may have even had like cards, trading cards or something. Cause I remember one of my favorites was, I think they found a cookie, an Oreo cookie, uh, for food and they like eat the cream and I love Oreo cookies of course so the thought of like a gigantic Oreo cookie uh just seemed really awesome so I'd have to say that's my that's my favorite scene uh if you have a favorite scene from the movie let me know in the comments below oh if life were only moments even now and then a bad one but if life were only moments then you never know you had one who knows what that's from? Points for you if you do. For those of you that don't, it's Into the Woods, which I was watching a couple of days ago, a few days ago, maybe a week ago. And that little snippet of the song has been stuck in my head and I wanted to... Lunch time. I am having a salad with blue cheese, as always, a smoothie and some of the leftover roasted veggies. I'm just gonna eat them cold cause it's hot out today. And uh, I realized after I made this, the veggies last night, I was like, these veggies are like a winter thing. And right now it's like pretty warm out. So it was like, it wasn't as appealing. They're good, but it just, it wasn't as appealing cause it wasn't in line with like the current season. Um, and sometimes I feel that way. Sometimes I feel like drawn to eat seasonal foods. Right, I'm eating dinner and I'm having some leftovers. I got a little piece of, oh, I just gave you the finger. Uh, I have a little piece of chicken and some of the veggies from last night and I think we're gonna eat these chips, I just realized. Uh, I could eat these chips. They are, Steve brought them home, kettle cooked. Uh, they are, where, where is it? Cracked pepper and sea salt and he really didn't like them and I ate a couple and I was like, oh, these are really good. I like them a lot. So uh, I'm just sitting here eating dinner and listening to some boxes from my mom and my sister. Two sheet trays, holy, ooh, holy cow, of, uh, there we go, of vegetables in the oven. It took forever to chop them up. Um, and there's so much 